Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to create multiple email addresses in one Gmail account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we should be knowing here is how do email addresses actually work? Well, for email addresses here, so I'll open up my profile here at the top, right? As you can see, this is my email address. So let me just copy this one and paste it here in another tab. Now, in this case, we have two sections for our email address. We have our local address here, which is the first address here before the at symbol. Now, in here, we also have the domain name. Now, in this case, since we know these two parts, what we could do here is apply two methods. So I'll be showing you three methods on how to basically uh, use your email address in multiple ways. So the first two methods is the uh, plus addressing. So this is the local part. So this is what we know. So what we could do here is we could just add a plus sign and put whatever what we want to say here. Like for example, my first email address. This is the first email address that I have. So uh, the local part of my email address, then the additional part that we want to name. Now, whenever we use this one, it's going to be treated as a separate email address. Meaning that you could use this to for any service, like for example, you want to try or use a fee trial for a specific service without changing or creating a new email address. Well, you could do this. So just to give an example, I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to back go back here. Now, just to prove this to yourself, uh, prove this to you. I just up right. I'm going to open up. This is my email address here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to paste or create an email address here and paste the following email address. Now, from here, as you can see, this is the email address that we use. So this is the email address that we just recently created. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and add a subject. So let's say we want to name this as test one, and again, input test one. Now, whenever we send this one, we should be receiving the email itself again on my email address here. So let's go ahead and send this. And as you can see, the email address was sent to me. So as you can see, it means the email address is actually working. So as you can see, let's go ahead, open this up. This is the email, the two section for this email here. Now, this is the first method. So I'll be showing you another method. So the other method is through the usage of the dot method. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and close this one. Like, for example, let's remove this section here. Now, another method that you could use is the dot. So whenever we input a dot within the email address, like, for example, firstname.lastname at gmail.com, the difference with the firstname, lastname at gmail.com, with the firstname.lastname at gmail.com is nothing. They are not different. They are considered as different email addresses, but in truth, they are the same email address. So to give you an example, I separated this two section on the local part of my email address. So in here, let's go ahead and post another email. Press the uh, or input the email address here, as you can see. And from here, let's just input a test two here and test two and hit on send. Now, once we go back into our email address or in our inbox, as you can see, the email was sent to us again, which in me, which it means it's actually working. Now, the last method that we could do here, or you could use, is the at googlemail.com. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and create another tab or email here. I want to go ahead and copy this one. So I'll be inputting or entering my default email address here, which is this one. Instead of using Gmail here, we'll be using googlemail.com. Now, from here, let's go ahead and copy this one, paste it in recipients. And as you can see, this is going to be Google Mail. And from here, just to give you confirmation, this is it. And from here, let's input the test as a test three here and the sub uh, the body as test three. Now, when we when we hit on send here, we should be receiving the actual email. As you can see, this is the third email. So in truth, you could use three methods here. First is the plus addressing. Second is the dot method. And lastly, the googlemail.com method. So that's about it. 
So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.